All right, so we're going to talk about solutions uh, and the concentration of a solution. Uh, we've already done calculations involving molarity, uh, and molarity is abbreviated with a capital M for the unit, is equal to moles of the solute divided by liters of the solution. So we have to make a distinction between those things. Um, and this phrase here, that a solution is equal to the solute plus the solvent. So the vocabulary is, if we have a beaker filled with water, you know, water would be the solvent. It is the one that is going to dissolve something. And then the solute will be whatever we drop in there in terms of a number of grams, usually. Uh, so let's say we're going to add some salt, so some NaCl. So we have grams of NaCl going in here to dissolve, um, and that is the solute. And then if you add the two together, so the mass of the solute plus the grams of the solvent, you get the grams of the solution. Now what we're going to do in this particular kind of calculation is we're going to know the density of that solution. So if we know the density, density is equal to mass of the solution divided by the volume of the solution. So the mass would be, you know, the total grams of this thing. Um, and then the volume would be how much space it occupies. You know, density is mass divided by volume. Um, and now referring back to molarity. So if we have grams of solute here, we could change that to moles, molar mass, you know, calculations we've been doing. Um, and then liters of solution. So we need to know the volume to get molarity. So if we know the volume of the solution and the mass of the solution, then we have the density of the solution. So as long as we have two out of those three, we can calculate the third. So if we're given the volume and the density, we could find the mass. If we're given the mass and the density, we could find the volume. Um, and now why this is being brought up is, in this study of colligative properties that we're about to do, there is a unit of concentration called molality. So we have molarity, which we've already talked about, moles of solute over liters of solution. And now there's this one, molality, change that one little letter, um, and now you have moles of solute. So the top of the formula is the same, divided by, this time, kilograms, so a mass, not a volume, but a mass, and notice it's of only the solvent. So not the mass of the whole solution, but the mass of only the solvent in units of kilograms. All right, so we're going to be able to interchange or calculate between these two units as long as we know the density as long as we know the density. Now, why the density? Well, because molarity has liters on the bottom, which is a volume. And molality has kilograms, which is a mass. So again, as long as we know the density and the mass, for example, we can calculate the volume, or the density and the volume, we can calculate the mass. Now, that would be the mass of the solution, though, and then we can figure out how many grams of the solvent we have because we'll know how many grams of the solute. So let's just try one here and we'll see how it goes. Uh, what is the molarity and the molality of a solution that has 14.7 grams of NaCl dissolved in 100 grams of water? All right, so I think the easiest way to solve these is to write down this phrase. So we know that solution is equal to solute plus solvent. The solute is 14.7 grams of NaCl. The solvent is 100 grams of water. And so since I know how much the solute is in the solvent, I could add those two together and know that there are 114.7 grams of solution. All right, so um, we're looking for, once again, molarity. So let's do molarity in red. So molarity is equal to moles of solute divided by liters of solution, a little abbreviation for solution. Um, and little m, molality, is equal to moles of solute over kilograms of the solvent. So we have moles of solute divided by kilograms of solvent. We have moles of solute divided by liters of solution uh, for the other one. All right, so in either of them, you can see we need moles and moles of the solute. So I'm going to... Bring that up here, and I'll change that to 
from 14.7 grams of NaCl to moles of NaCl. So we have 58.5 grams in one mole, the molar mass of NaCl. Uh, we have 14.7 divided by 58.5, and we get 0 0.251. So 0 0.251 moles of NaCl, which is our um, solute. So now that number is going to come down here for both of these. Uh, so we have 0.251 moles, and we have... 0.251 moles. All right, so now for the molality, we are on the bottom, remember, kilograms of the solvent. Well, right here is the grams of solvent. So if I move it 1, 2, 3 to left, I get 0 0.100 kilograms. And that one's done. So 0 0.251 divided by 0 0.1, and we get 2.51. Little m, molality. That one's done. But for the molarity, we don't have a number. We're, we're missing liters of solution, which is a volume. But I have the mass of the solution. And then in the problem, I'm giving the density of the solution. So I have the density of the solution. So I can take the mass and the density to find the volume. So density equals mass over volume. We're looking for volume. So volume would be mass divided by density. 114.7 grams is the mass of the solution. 1.15 grams per milliliter is the density of the solution. And so this is going to give us the volume of the solution when I divide those. Uh, 114.7 divided by, what was it, 1.15, 99.7. So 99.7, and notice the units would be grams. You're going to cancel 1 over, 1 over milliliters, which would give us milliliters. So now we're going to take that down to here. We now know the liters or the milliliters of solution. Move it over 3.0997 liters. And we can do 2.5 or 0.251, 2 .2 divided by 0 0.0997, and we get 2.52 capital M. Sometimes the molarity and the molality are going to be quite close. Depends on the moles, depends on the volume, depends on uh, how close the density is. Uh, to one, those kinds of things. Um, but there it is. All right, so that's one way. Now, here's a, a more challenging version of this problem. Um, and let me slide some of this stuff out of my way. Give me a little more space. I'm going to move it up. All right, so what is the molarity and the molality? This time, given not the grams of solute and the grams of solvent, but instead the grams of solute and the liters or milliliters of solution. So this time you're given um, a uh, volume instead of a mass. So I like to do the same thing we started with before. Solution is equal to solute plus solvent. The solute is 36.9 grams, grams of CaCl2. All right, now it says it is dissolved in... 750 milliliters of an aqueous solution. So now the, the, the phrase or the word aqueous tells us it's dissolved in water. So aqueous tells us it's dissolved in water. And that we have 750 milliliters of solution. Not of water, but of solution. All right, so if I have 750.0 milliliters of solution and the density is 1.21 grams per milliliter, I can then find the mass, which would be equal to um, the density times the volume, and notice this is milliliters and milliliters, so they're going to cancel. I multiply those two together, and I'm going to get uh, 1.21 times 750.0, and I got 907.5. So let's go 908, and that would be grams of solution, because this was the density of the solution, the volume of the solution, so this is the mass of the solution. So now I have this, 908 grams. All right, so I know that the solute has 36.9 grams. I know the solution has 908 grams. So then how much is the solvent? Well, it would be 908 minus 36.9. So 908 minus 36.9, and I got 871.1 grams. So now I'm back to where I was before. I have my grams of solution, grams of solute, grams of solvent, and I also know the volume of the solution. So I can solve for the molarity and the molality once I change 36.9 to moles. So 36.9 grams of the solute divided by the molar mass of CaCl2, which is 
111.1, so 36.9 divided by 111.1, and I get 0.332 moles. So molarity equals 0.332 moles divided by, uh, molarity, remember, is the liters of solution. So I have milliliters, so move it over three, and I get 0 0.7500 liters. So there's my molarity. Let's go with pink this time. Little m is equal to, once again, the moles of solute divided by, remember, it's just kilograms of only the solvent. So uh, 0 0.8711 kilograms of water it would be because it is aqueous. So 0 0.332 divided by 0 0.75. So for the molarity, I get 0.443 capital M moles per liter. That's liters of solution. And then 0.332 divided by the kilograms um, of only the solvent, I get 0.381 lowercase m. This would be called a molar solution, so 0.443 molar solution. And this is a 0.381 molal solution, so a molal solution. So there's molarity and molality. Um, again, we need the density to convert between the two.